Hello there, in this micro lesson today we are going to be looking at magnetic storage um, according to the OCR computing specification. Um, let's get learning. So learning objectives for today's uh, lesson, uh, all of you are going to be able to understand the purpose of magnetic storage. Most of you will be able to explain where and why magnetic storage is used today and some will describe the benefits and limitations of magnetic storage. So what is magnetic storage? Uh, magnetic storage is a type of storage which has been used uh, for computers and other electronic devices a lot in the past, but it's starting to be phased out slowly now. Um, this is purely because um, the technology which is now available uh, for storage mediums are getting more reliable and getting more efficient, and those are covered in other videos. So getting back to magnetic storage, uh, the media, normally discs, are covered in iron oxide. And as you can see in the picture, they are actual discs. They're little um, pieces of metal which all the data gets stored on them. And normally they're co uh, covered in a form of iron oxide. The head, which is the little spindle pipe type part, which is um, sticking out, has got a magnet charged on it. And it uses that magnet to charge the media. So if it records uh, a positive charge, that's a one, negative charge is zero, and then that's how it stores everything as binary, which then, in the grand scheme of things, gets used by the computer. The magnet reaches charges, drive converts it into binary. The easy way to think about how this really, really operates is if you imagine in your head an old, so old school LP player, and the LP player has a needle, and as the LP moves around, the needle is able to play the music. Exactly the same concept with magnetic storage. That needle goes along the disc and then scans and looks for the ones and zeros, looks for the positive charge or the negative charge. And that's how it works. So we've got some benefits and some limitations of magnetic storage, as I said before. The benefits, the most obvious one, it is the cheapest form of memory around because it's been around for a long time, it's been refined, it's easy to create. It can store a lot of data. Uh, commercially, you can still buy um, uh, magnetic uh, drives for uh, over five terabytes, which is a lot of storage space. Um, tradition, uh, most of the time, they are faster than external devices, so if you plug in a USB stick, it's normally got a fa uh, faster access time than that. And data can be read and written an infinite amount of times because all that's happening is that either a positive charge or a negative charge is being applied to the disk. So that's the data is going to be able to be read an infinite amount of times because not that much can go wrong. However, talking about things going wrong, magnetic storage is very, very susceptible to damage from heat or from strong magnetic fields. So if you have your hard drive and you rub a magnet against it, more than likely going to damage a lot of the data. If the head fails or any other part of the moving parts within the magnetic storage are either run those fail, the hard disk is pretty much redundant because being able to add a new one, being able to fix it, it's very, very picky to be able to do. They are a lot slower than solid state drives, which is a newer form of technology which will be looked at in a future video. Uh, and it uses power, uh, a lot of power compared to use uh, than other storage media. So if we look back quickly at the image, those moving parts there, the different spindles, it draws power um, to be able to move them around. So, some activities for you, feel free to pause. Uh, state how a magnetic drive stores data. Describe why offices would use a magnetic drive. And explain the benefits and limitations of using the magnetic drive. So, we can see here that uh, it stores data using ones and zeros by using magnets. Uh, and this question about describing why offices would use a magnetic drive, that could quite easily be a two or three question mark in the exam purely because you're being asked to take what you know and then describe a situation around it. And then finally, we've got the explaining the benefits and limitations of using the magnetic drive. I hope this video has been useful for you. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video. If you're doing your exams, good luck. Bye-bye.